Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking Up Love. Today I'm going to share our easy recipe for making lasagna with ricotta cheese. This recipe is so good, it's the kind of lasagna people dream about. It's got layers of noodles, herbs and spices, three cheeses, and that delicious meat sauce. This homemade lasagna is easy enough to make for a weeknight dinner and it's perfect to make ahead to pop in the oven when you get home and it's one of my favorite dishes to make two of and then share it with a friend. Now let me show you how to make it. And here's everything that you need to make this lasagna. To make the meat sauce, I'm using the Wagyu ground beef from Costco, and it's a mixture that's 75-25, or 75% meat, 25% fat. So it does have more fat in it than the leaner mixtures, like a 90-10, and that'll give the beef more flavor. Once the beef has changed color and is cooked through, I'll drain off the fat, and it's kind of hard to see with my hand blocking the camera, sorry about that, but you can see there's about two tablespoons of grease here that I'm removing. I'll let this cool off and solidify a bit and then throw it away. Remember not to flush this down the sink or it'll clog your pipes. Once the ground beef is finished cooking, stir in about a tablespoon of tomato paste and cook this for about a minute just to let it caramelize and brown a bit. And then pour in a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. I'm using the San Marzano tomatoes from Costco and this does have a little bit of basil added in. Give the tomatoes a squeeze in your hand to break them up a bit and stir the mixture together. Next, we're going to add the herbs. Add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half teaspoon of dried oregano, and a half teaspoon of dried basil. Give this a stir and give it a taste and make sure the seasonings are to your liking. Then reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for about an hour checking on it every 10 to 15 minutes and giving it a quick stir. As the meat sauce finishes, begin preheating the oven to 350 degrees if you'll be cooking this immediately. I always generously salt the water with about a tablespoon or two of kosher salt for a pot this size. When the noodles are done, instead of draining them in a colander, we grab each noodle using a pair of tongs and place them in a single layer on a clean kitchen towel so that they cool and slightly dry. And once you've laid them all out, start flipping over the first ones that came out. While the noodles are cooling, quickly put together the cheese mixture. Measure out 16 ounces or about two cups of ricotta cheese into a large bowl. Grate about 16 ounces of mozzarella cheese and add it into the bowl. Grate about one cup of Parmesan cheese and add half of this to the bowl and save the rest of it for topping the lasagna. Mix the cheeses all together. And now it's time to assemble the lasagna. I'm using a baking dish that's about seven by 10 inches. You could also use a nine by nine, an eight by eight, or a nine by 13. And this is how we layer the lasagna. I always start with a little meat sauce on the bottom, which is going to help when we're serving it and also prevents the bottom layer of noodles from getting burned or overcooked. Then comes the first layer of lasagna noodles. You can cut the noodles to fit your pan if you like. I'm going to fold mine over, so I leave the extra hanging over the top for now. Add a layer of meat sauce. and then dollop on the ricotta cheese mixture all over the top. Add the next layer of noodles, then more meat sauce, and more cheese mixture. Then repeat with more meat sauce, 
and more cheese. And if you like this recipe, press the like button to let me know. And if you've got a friend who's learning to cook or who loves lasagna, share it and let them know you're thinking of them. Then the last layer of noodles and the remaining meat sauce. The last of the ricotta cheese mixture, and finally the grated parmesan that we held back. And if you're saving this for another day, you can put this in the refrigerator or the freezer at this point. Wrap the baking dish tightly with foil, pop it into the preheated oven and cook it for about 45 minutes. Then take the foil off and bake for another 15 minutes until the cheese on top is melted and browned. You can also place this under the broiler for a few minutes for a crispier top. Just watch it closely. Let the lasagna cool for about 15 minutes before you slice into it so the layers of cheese and meat sauce can firm up a bit. It makes the cutting and serving easier and the lasagna layers won't go sliding all over. Lasagna is a big favorite at our house. What's your favorite pasta dish? If you like this recipe, press the like button to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we post new videos every week and I've got so many more to share with you guys. So make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when we've posted the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.